Oh. Step out of the vehicle. Now. I'm calling my fucking husband. Do okay. not touch me. Okay. I always feel grateful to the police force for working diligently day and night to apprehend offenders who jeopardize social security and the safety of the public. Thanks to them, the intoxicated individuals in the video below are brought to justice. A police officer is currently at the scene of an accident on River Road 1111. The driver responsible for the accident is a 40-year-old woman showing signs of intoxication. She drove her car into a parked Hyundai by the roadside. Are you okay? You speak English? I do. Are you okay? Are you are you are you injured? No. You hurt? No. Okay, hold on. And this this is your vehicle, sir? No, no, mother's? I'm right here. You're I here. just called my mom. Oh, that's your that's your mother's no, car. No, no, wait. she had called my mom that she got in an accident. And I just came over. We live close. Wait, 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 hold. On. I'm confused. The, the the woman driving here is. No, no, she's in front of my mother. Okay, so... She called and she got in an accident and I came to... Okay. My mom was calling her on the phone. Oh, okay, I get it now. So this one is just a park... Right down the street. All right, well, this is a park car that she Yeah, hit. yeah, yeah. No, that I'm was sorry, because I saw the car yeah, here yeah, yeah, and I didn't no, know if no, you guys no, no, were involved. No, no, okay, I got I it. Guess right. Upon approaching the female driver, the police officer detected a strong smell of alcohol emanating from inside the car. She admitted to having consumed alcohol earlier. So she was just she was driving the street and yes, be, lost I control do. of the vehicle? I do. Okay. I do. Okay. I don't want to do something that is natural because that is over there. And I don't want okay. to say that. Have you been drinking? See, two drinks. Two drinks? See. Okay. And was requested to perform the horizontal gaze nystigmas and field sobriety tests. However, the female driver failed to pass both tests as instructed. D don't keep moving okay. your eyes, okay? <laughs> Just keep not enough. Look at the okay. pen. You keep you keep looking the other way. Okay? Just look at the pen. Okay? Okay, listen to me. You want it today? Listen, listen, no, listen, listen, listen. Okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. She, she's, okay. Listen, yeah. listen to me. Right now, you are under the influence. You are driving while intoxicated right now. Okay, so right now you're, you're gonna be under arrest. That's fine. I understand. Okay. I don't want to do that. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So do me a favor. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Give me the other one, please. Based on the signs of intoxication, admission of alcohol consumption, and failure to complete the tests, the police officer decided to arrest her. Additionally, the police are inspecting the damaged Hyundai, which sustained significant damage to the rear wheels, fortunately without any injuries. The woman was taken to another police station for a breathalyzer test, but she refused to cooperate. Subsequently, she was brought back to the original station and released on bail by her friend. The police have issued a summons to the woman with charges of driving under the influence, causing an accident and refusing chemical testing. Drunken individuals always surprise me with their bizarre actions. The girl in the next video was no exception. Observing a vehicle driving erratically and nearly veering off the lane, the police quickly intercepted the car. There was a female driver and a female passenger in the car. Particularly, the female driver was operating the vehicle without wearing pants. Hello. You okay? Yes, ma'am, I am. I have no pants on, and it's because I peed my pants while I was at, um... Okay, I'm well, so I pulled scared. you over because you about drove off the road. I did see that. I was, I did almost drive off the road. Yes, you did. I and then looking. you went all the way from the right lane over to the left lane. Have you anything to drink? Yes. Okay. Do you have your driver's license on you, sweetie? Yes. Initially, the girl admitted to drinking alcohol, but then denied it shortly after. It was evident that she was not sober enough to control her speech, 
You're a woman. I'm, I'm into my under underwear, and I'm just a little nervous. That's okay. Do you have a pair of pants? Yeah, no, I do. Can I, am she, I no, able to put them on? She, yeah. Yes, there you, was, you she can. She fell in the bathroom, and there was pee all over the floor. You can. That's why we left. It's okay. You can put your pants on. Where are they? Literally, that's why No, we they're in the back of my car. Am I able to reach yeah, back Yeah, this, this one's really dark tinted, so go ahead and roll that window down for me, okay? Yes, ma'am. I can smell the alcohol on you, okay? Your driving pattern. Okay. I can tell you've had some stuff to drink. Okay. Well, I was around alcohol, but I did not have anything to drink. Have you anything to drink? Yes. Okay. Along with the police detecting the strong odor of alcohol on her person and signs of intoxication, she was asked to perform a field sobriety test. All right, so the first thing I'm going to have you do is stand with your feet together, arms down by your side. When I tell you to begin, you're going to watch the tip of my pen up here by my finger. By my finger. Mm-hmm. What you're going to do is you're going to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't move your head, all right? Are you going to blink? Yes. All right, Miss Kayla, we're going to walk over to this line right here, okay? This one right which, here. Which line? The right line. here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you feel comfortable walking on this line barefoot? What is the consequences if I say no? Well, I'll give you the opportunity to put shoes on or we could find one that's more comfortable for you. Does it look flat, level, safe to walk on? I mean, I'd rather not get gunk on my foot, but walk and feel if there's... Sure, by all means, you can walk and feel if there's gunk. All right, Miss Kayla, so the first thing I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you put your left foot on the line with your right foot in front of it, touching heel to toe, arms down by your side. You're going to stay just like that until I tell you to begin, okay? When I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down this line, Am I supposed to walk, once I get there, to my ninth step, am I supposed to walk backwards? Or is no. it, can I turn around? That's what I meant by keep your front yes. foot on the line and then take a series of small steps to turn around and then you'll take nine more heel to toe steps back down this line. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm no, just it, it's it okay. Are you ready to begin? Ma'am, I think I'm ready. Okay, you can begin. That was As predicted, the girl failed the test. Eventually, the police arrested her for driving under the influence and required her to post a $500 bond. Young people these days often have many excuses to deny their wrongdoing. They always think they are innocent but fail to prove it. Therefore, they deserve legal penalties to learn their lesson. Don't underestimate law enforcement officers if you don't want to invite trouble. This video serves as a warning for everyone. While patrolling traffic in Florida, officers noticed the Kia with its headlights on Despite signaling to turn them off, the driver didn't respond and sped away. After trailing and stopping the car, the police conducted a traffic stop. Uh, to go on, Sergeant Brian Long, the police department, you let your window down for me. Down. Here you have license, registration, proof of insurance. Here you go. You have license, registration, proof of insurance. I don't have that on you. How much you have that on you? Go in my phone and grab it. Okay. I cannot. Unfortunately, it's a safety issue. All right, Ms. Corvette, do me a favor. Step out of the vehicle for me. No, no, no. I'm going to get you. I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle for no, me. No, thank please. you. Okay, well, you don't have that option, okay? Yes, if I'm I do. You do not. Yes, I okay, do. If I'm, I'm not going to step out. Why did you pull me over? That's the one. You start me in another unit. All right, I'm going to ask you one more time. Okay? Why did you pull me You're going to either step over? out of the vehicle Sir, or I'm going to go over? ahead and bust this window and pull you out of the vehicle. For what? Okay, because I'm asking you to step out of the we're vehicle. Gonna, we're going to... The obedient female driver remained in the car and ignored the police's request to step out. After several orders and warnings of breaking the car window, the woman still didn't comply. Vehicle now. Excuse me, can I get a second? So step I can roll out the window? of the vehicle now. Cool. Can I close? Nope. I'm told you you're, you've got that option. You're going to jail. I'm telling you now. I'm about to shatter your window, ma'am. Oh. Step out. Of the What's wrong with you? Step out of the vehicle. Now! Can I step out of the vehicle? 
Can you let me step out of the vehicle? Get out of the vehicle. Pepper spray deploy. Step out of the vehicle now. What a boy. Step out of the vehicle. Do it now. Do it now. Get out of the vehicle. Get on the ground. This action challenged the patience of the police. Not disappointing us, they immediately broke the door and used pepper spray to subdue and pull out the driver. <laughs> well, now you're going to jail. For resisting, you obstruction. On here. You <laughs> no, not worried about your glasses. I am. I don't care. I don't care about anything either, so. <laughs> uh, you can keep another unit coming. Uh, can you have FD in route as well? Have a seat. Subsequently, the subject was taken to the hospital for medical examination and then transferred to jail. She was charged with resisting an officer. The incident could have ended with a traffic ticket, but due to her defiance, the girl faced heavier penalties. How do you think this girl will be punished? It's amusing how offenders always try to evade their crimes by claiming to have acquaintances who are police officers. Guess if the woman below can achieve her goal. Upon receiving a report about a Chevrolet stopping in the wrong lane, the police quickly arrived at the scene. Can you put the car in park and turn it off, please? Yeah, of course. I was just looking for a number. Rise up three, ten, twelve. Can you turn off the car for me? Yeah, of course. You do realize you're uh, in the wrong lanes, right? I do. You're I was on... just looking for a number. Yeah, you're on the wrong side of the roadway. I know that. I was looking for a number. Why would you be on the wrong side of the roadway, though? Because I was pulled off to the side. Yeah, you're not in the side. You're in the, you're in the westbound lanes, and you're facing eastbound. Yeah, I know. I apologize. Where are you coming from? I had to drop off the phone. The female driver admitted to drinking at a friend's house and was returning home with her child. She requested to contact her husband to pick her up and adamantly refused to leave the car. Who are you calling? My husband. Because if he's not here, I'm not getting out of the car. You'll have to drag me fucking out of my car. Just take me home. I have three fucking kids. Just take me home. Oh, that's works. not an option. It's not? Well, it will be. How about Officer Sean? Hmm? Officer Sean of North Palm Beach? What about Officer Sean? Call him. I'm not calling anybody. He has nothing to do with this. He won a minute. I don't think that he'd appreciate you calling him at 1.30 in the morning. Well, I am going home tonight, and I'm not going anywhere other than my house. Okay. I'm not going to take you there. You are. Then where are you going to take me? I have three children. Okay. And they're home safe with your husband, correct? No. Because I can't get a hold of him. Okay. Well, because he's probably sleeping. Because it's 1.30 in the morning. Why can't you just take me home with him? Why can't you just take me home with him? <laughs> because that's not how this works. Because you want to be me? No. <laughs> the police forcibly removed her from the car. She began panicking and crying like a child. I'm calling my fucking husband. Do okay. not touch me. Okay. If you touch me. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, man. Come on. Step out. Get out of the car. You're going to harass me? No. Relax. 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 Okay? Relax. Throw your phone. I'm not. Don't make me I have the hand. rights to call my husband. I want you to call my husband right now, though. You, listen, you called him about stop. 30 times already. Stop pulling away. It's not going to get you anywhere to do that. It's only going to make it worse for you. You're going to beat me? No. 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 We're not beating you. You're in handcuffs Everybody here no has too. video cameras on their chest. Yep. Everything that has occurred from the start to finish is on body camera. Can you call my husband right now? No. You will call your husband. Right now? Nope. No. Unable to reach her husband, the woman continued to request to call her friend who is a police officer. The woman should have known that no one could help her escape the law and should face it. Finally, the female driver was arrested for driving under the influence and refusing to sign the form. She was sentenced to one-year probation 
and six months with an ignition interlock device. While on patrol, a police officer noted a Ford car making an illegal left turn and colliding with the police vehicle. The car was instructed to stop for inspection. Hello. Um, so the reason why I stopped, you made that right turn from Pearl to Bagley. You made it at the red light, and I'm not sure if you realize, but you almost struck me. I apologize. No, I did not. You got driver's license on you? I actually don't have anything. I'm just going up to work. I didn't bring anything with okay. me today. No big deal. Let's just take down your info. Yeah, you're supposed to treat it. Well, that right there, you can't even make a right turn at this time, at the I red light. I started working at this office, so I, I'm not really used to this area right now. I'm so sorry. The woman driver didn't have a driver's license, and the police detected the smell of marijuana emanating from the vehicle. Is there anything illegal inside this vehicle? Who smokes weed in here? Uh, it's just my car. It's, it's just my car. So nothing illegal? Can I look inside? Uh, I, 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 again, I apologize. I was just heading home. Like, I really I really didn't know that, that like, I can't turn right there. I'll, that's the reason why I'm asking is because I do smell weed. I apologize. The officer requested the woman to exit the car, but she didn't comply and tightly shut the doors. Hi there, miss. Hi. Can you talk to me now, please? One moment, please, sir. A few moments later. I accidentally took off your uh, companion there. Okay. Pulled me over to clear the main car smoke marijuana as a surgeon. I said I wasn't comfortable with that. Asked me to pull over here. Okay. It is. So if an officer tells you you have to step out of the vehicle, you have to step out of the vehicle. That's a lawful that's order. Okay? So that's not true. I'm I'm being very nice and patient. Oh yeah, yeah. If you comply with me, I'll give you whatever you want. But right now you're not. Oh, are you a sovereign citizen? Is that Patrolman Venus Badge 722, okay? After repeated requests to exit the vehicle were ignored, the police decided to break the car's door and forcibly remove the driver. I'm going to break the window if you do not exit the vehicle. Officer, uh, I really need, I need a supervisor here before you take those kind of extreme measures. Ready? No, no, sir, please. I need a supervisor on the scene. Officer, I need a supervisor on the scene. I need a supervisor on the scene. Got it. Got it. We got one. I need a supervisor on the scene. Let me get this out your hands. I'm not letting go of that. Okay, I'm going to put it on this top of the car. You are, are being recorded by well. three of our cameras. Upon inspecting the car, the police found marijuana and several open bottles of alcohol. I'm her dad. I'm yeah, I'm that should explain that, yeah. So, um, I'm a former law enforcement, mm -hmm. private investigator in okay. office. Yeah, she explained that as well. She works for me, so she called me, she was up at the office. I don't know what the... She did, but her boyfriend's one of these... Goddamn sovereign, you know. Okay. Well, I yell at him all the time. And like, so that's why I, I just. Yeah. I mean, we can see. You can release her. Great. Okay. That'll be, I, you know, that's my car. It's insured under my name. Okay. I'd be happy to, but I'll make sure she goes to court or whatever she's got to okay. do. Okay. Yeah, we can see, you know, just from talking to her in a little bit of the back of the car here, you can see the, the tinges of the sovereign citizen or yeah, at least the. Yeah. The, nice the belief, okay. One of those came out of the car when <laughs> when, when we actually opened up the passenger side right. door. So. Well, I'm going to go back over to the office. I okay. Got my dog's over there. i got to get him home. And then, um, okay. But if she needs to me, come get her. I'll... Based on this evidence, the woman was charged with offenses such as obstructing an officer, using alcohol, and traffic violations for the illegal left turn. Her driver's license will be confiscated and she will be fined for her offenses. When asked by the police to pull over for speeding, this female driver not only refused to comply, but also loudly argued with the officer.
The police suspected the driver of alcohol use and requested her to perform a field sobriety test. However, she refused, claiming she hadn't been drinking and hadn't violated any laws. I'm asking why my life is suspended. No. I do not drink. I don't drink. I have no reason to. I don't drink. I am slurring zero words. I have suspicions that you didn't be here. Therefore, I'm legally asking you to feel the right Well, let me inform you of something. I have zero reason to support any sobriety, anything. Despite the police's explanation and notification of a one-year license suspension, the woman remained adamant in her refusal. My goals have nothing to do with me driving. That's news. Do you understand? Okay, great. Great. Zero percent chance of that happening because I'm not under the influence of anything. You're talking about you smell alcohol, my friend. Zero, that's not irrelevant at all because that's not true. I'm not. I'm not going to do this to me. I still have to make a decision. You understand that I'm wearing heels. Oh no, God! Good, because I'm not, I'm not doing anything wrong right now. I am, I am. Right, 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 right. She continued to ask questions and criticize the officer, leading to her unjustified arrest. She will be taken to the station for further investigation. The woman's resistance to complying with the police's request will only work against her and potentially lead to further charges. A piece of advice for everyone is to cooperate with the police if you don't want to encounter legal trouble. The police officers are requesting the woman to cooperate with, with an investigation related to assaulting another person. It's known that the woman is homeless, has neurological issues, and has repeatedly engaged in acts of robbery and altercations with pedestrians. Hello. You're welcome. How are you doing today? No, I'm not, I'm not going to Patterson. They're going to have to pray okay. in the world. Hold on a second. No, I got raped, man. Leave me alone. I'm okay. freaking out of my own fucking schizophrenic uh, episode for the president. I suggest you leave me alone, man. I swear to God, you know. Watch them try to fucking mishandle me this time. Man, man, man. You better stand down, sir. I fucking know you're the place in the fucking back. You'll fucking find out before you fucking be molested if you touch that kid. The woman refuses to cooperate with the investigation and attempts to escape from the police. What's up, Chase? Stop walking. Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm blessed, man. Okay. I just want to make sure you were safe. I'll Thank return you very your, much. I'll return your bank account mm -hmm. when it's not breached. Please don't. It's, it's just just look at the detailed expenditures. I have to keep you safe, man. I do it for my whole life. Mm -hmm. But please submit the fucking right child molester, okay? Mm -hmm. Why well, I gotta walk everywhere? Because you are deemed. I'm not deemed disabled. As I'm not deemed as disabled. Who committed an assault. No, I didn't commit victim. assault. That's okay. a fucking wrong report. Chase has a backup camera. They, provided they didn't a provide of a you. fucking no. They don't have a description of me. They don't. Can I give you an air pen? Of course. 
Okay. Have Listen, a day. man, I have to just walk and breathe easy. Okay. I had a schizophrenic Duster. episode. I take my medicine. Just and that's please. why we're here. I know, you, but you, I'm not, go, I'm not going. To, I'm not going to give a blood donation. No, no, today. you don't have to do that. Okay, that, that's the problem, though. The president we'll, keeps we'll fucking ordering. We'll let you know when you're, you're free to walk away. Calm, when I'm just calm. stand by. I will stand by for you. Don't, because just you're don't. You're very trained to be a um a certified police trainer and people that really had traumas. Watch it. Watch it, because you're going to take the whole estate. She continuously uses vulgar language and insults towards the police force. Therefore, the police officers have to use force to restrain her. Fucking cuff me now. I swear to God. Cuff me. I swear to God. I will fucking kill you. I told you to leave me alone. I am satisfied to kill somebody. You better fucking leave me alone. Immediately after, a volunteer ambulance team arrives and takes the woman to a medical center for examination. Meanwhile, the victim of this assault has also refused to sign a complaint against the woman as they weren't seriously injured. However, the woman will still receive two summons of disorderly conduct and simple assault. How do you think this mentally unstable and frequently disruptive woman should be handled? Through these videos, surely everyone can learn a lesson about the consequences of breaking the law. Not only the police, but also each of us has a responsibility to protect ourselves and others by obeying the law. Please like, share, and subscribe to support us. Thank you and see you again.